Hey, what's going on guys? Kelly Robinson here, a local arborist business owner in Denver, Colorado, and we are going to talk about what factors go into the price of tree work. Um, so let's get started here in Denver, Colorado. We have winter, spring, fall, and uh, all four seasons. So we have a eight month season with 12 month overhead. Um, so after Thanksgiving, business falls off precipitously all the way until March, uh, or the beginning of April, really, uh, is when the leaves come out, and that's pretty much the beginning of our season right around now, um, if you guys are in the Denver metro area. Um, and we still have all the overhead, all those five months that you guys are cooped up indoors, you know, don't have a budget for tree work because of the holidays, um, and, you know, there's no leaves on the trees, so you guys just aren't looking up into the trees, so... Um, business is generally slow um, that time of year for us, but we still have to, you know, pay the insurance, uh, you know, maintain all the trucks and all that stuff. So eight month season, twelve month overhead. That's the first um, first reason, you know, the factor into cost to tree work, right? Uh, all right. So what type of tree tree work is there before we get down into the nitty gritty? Um, Usually you're going to have like pruning a tree, uh, removing the dead wood, you know, trimming stuff back from the house, all that stuff. So like just general pruning. And then you have removals, which is removing the tree from the property. Okay. So those are your, generally your two types of um, tree jobs. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of new homeowners here in Denver, real estate boom and stuff like that, especially over the winter, the, you know, the COVID winter, it seems like there was a lot of people buying real estate here. So, you know, if you guys have never had tree work done before, this video is for you. Um, all right, so um, the first factor that goes into the cost of, of, tree, of a tree service is generally the size of the tree. Um, so it's going to, if you have a tree that's like six inch, you know, yeah, 10 inches in diameter and 20 feet tall, um, that, you know, that's going to be maybe a thousand pounds that we have to move. Okay. Um, whereas if you have a six foot diameter cottonwood, that's 120 feet tall and, you know, weighs as much as like six buses or something like that. That's a whole nother ball game. Um, there's going to be prices and, and factors that, you know, don't apply to that smaller tree that apply to that larger tree. So it's literally the size of the tree, how much weight needs to be moved and the type of equipment needed to, um, move the tree and remove it. All right. So that's the size of the tree. Um, location of the tree. Is it in the front yard? Yeah, if it's in the front yard, then our trucks can pull right up. Um, the bucket truck can whoop, get right up into that tree. We can start work immediately upon uh, arriving at the house. <clears throat> we can drop the tree in the front yard. You know, generally there's not a whole lot in the front yard. You can just drop it right there on the ground, throw it in the chipper, and we're on our way. As opposed to a tree in the backyard. So a tree in the backyard pull our vehicles up. We've got to lug all of our equipment in the backyard. Bucket truck can't get back up in there because generally there's power lines in the back alleyway um, and we can't run a bucket truck around power lines. So uh, we have to send a human up on ropes with a chainsaw, um, a skilled human. So pay them very well because their job is dangerous. Um, and yeah, so then we're removing the tree in the backyard. Boom. All that stuff comes down in the backyard. Where do we, how long, how far do we have to drag it? Now we have to drag all the whole tree from the backyard all the way to the front yard through generally a 36 inch gate as well. So not only do we have to, you know, drag all that stuff to the front, we have to cut it into pieces that fit through the gate. That's just a lot of time. It's a lot more work, effort, just wear and tear on the machinery, on the employees, all that stuff, and it's time. Okay. So. Front yard, backyard. Usually, front yard trees a little, little less, uh, less to get pruned or removed. Backyard trees a little bit more expensive, and that's why. Uh, what's under the tree? Very important. So, on a scale of one to ten, one being the easiest, ten being the hardest. What, what does a, a one easy tree look like to remove? Uh, a one would be a tree in, in the middle of the field that you want removed. So we drive our truck right up next to it. We cut a wedge into the side of it, plop it down because there's nothing around this tree in the field. We process it, throw it in the chipper, and we're on to the next job. As opposed to a 10. So say you have 120 foot cottonwood, four feet away from your house, 75% of the canopy of this cottonwood hangs over your house, and the other 25 hangs out 
over your deck, and you know if we cut these giant limbs off, it, we, we can't have it go crashing through your house. So we have to have a human on a line, on a on a rope with a chainsaw, rigging stuff down. So when we cut the branches, we catch it with rope, and then we slowly lower it so it doesn't smash the infrastructure that you guys own. Um, it, that just just takes time. Um, it takes a skilled worker up in the tree a lot of time, um, you know, to rig all that stuff down. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to drag it if it's in the backyard, it's overhanging your house. I mean, these things, they, they just kind of multiply on top of each other. Um, so, you know, what's underneath the tree? Is it a bunch of infrastructure that we can't damage and we have to protect by rigging it down? It's just a lot of time, a lot of time. Um, so those are the main factors that go into um, tree work. Um, so when you guys have whatever company you guys choose to get your tree work done, those are the kind of the factors that they're, that they're working with um, on giving you prices. And so that's, that's why. Um, also, too... Uh, as a as a closing note, it is the third most dangerous industry in the United States. The first one's like uh, working with electricity, so linemen with uh, the electrical companies. Number two is a commercial fisherman, so like deadliest catch type of stuff. Number three in the United States is uh, is logging and or like the commercial arboring. Um, so that's kind of like where we fall under. And what does that equate to? Pretty high workers' comp costs, um, very high insurance. Um, so, you know, those are for your employees. And then to move all this heavy equipment, we have giant, huge diesel trucks. We have huge chippers, diesel chippers. We have to feed all this stuff fuel constantly. Um, we got to maintain it. You know, we even have to maintain it on those four to five months that you guys aren't having us out to your house to do work, right? So the eight month season, 12 month overhead, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So all that overhead, you know, employees and equipment, it just, it adds up. So, that's what goes into tree work. Um, thanks for listening. If you guys are in the Denver metro area, go ahead and reach out. My name's Kelly Robinson. I love talking about trees. And uh, yeah, summer's right here, or spring's right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the future.